what up bitches it's your boy capital chris and i have arrived on site at grady's that shit right there look at this shit on the wall yeah it's about to be a crazy night we finna turn the fuck up Stay tuned for updates and shit. Yeah. Thug shit. Mmm. I do I do that with my lip because that's that that's that thug shit lip. Mmm. Yeah. Beth. Dust Tucker. My boy he, he's he's previously indisposed. Or currently indisposed. Previously is the wrong word, but whatever. I don't care. This is what we do when we wait for shows. Nerd shit. Nerd shit. Nerd shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you ain't fucking awake yet. Get the fuck up here. Exciting thing ever, isn't it? Cherry like your Wendy's food? Yeah. Is it yummy? <laughs> there are four planets sitting in the middle of the restaurant. 
Joe, you want to look like one of them one day? No. One of the planets over there. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Cheater bacon cheeseburger, chicken nuggets, fries, frosty, which I shouldn't be eating because I'm diabetic, and a power in. Yay! And it is dark outside. Do, do, do a shout out to um, Bam Bam the Voodoo Child. What do you think? Five Bammers. Hi. No, it's High Bammers. Or Bam. It's called Bam Hi, Bam. Bam. Yay. Get this on the Weirdo Show. Yeah, because we're fucking weirdos. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. I was busy contemplating the meaning of life in the universe. You see, I've been given this gift of intel... In, in Fuck, what's the word? Fuck, what's the word? Intelligence. Hey. What, what were we talking about? Oh, Cap C TV. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Capito Chris, and this is Cap C TV. And I'm gonna move my camera. Isn't that fancy? We live in the future, and that's what I want to talk about today. The fact that we live in the motherfucking future. There's no denying that shit. Do you realize how many things that we have? that we thought was future shit, that is now shit, that means now is the future. Bruh, I have a phone that is a better computer than my actual computer. Granted, my actual computer sucks balls. Anyone who listens to the Scrubcast knows I pretty much have the worst computer ever, but it's not the point. I mean, they have bars where all the alcohol is weed. And you can just sit and play video games and eat snacks. That's the fucking future. There are programs on your phone that let you do pretty much anything that you would ever want to do. Are you a photographer? Well, you can get a phone that has a camera strong enough to take pretty goddamn good photos. And then you can take them and use an app on your phone and edit them with a pretty goddamn good photo editing program. I mean, shit. There's not much that you can't do just with a phone. And that's just a phone. Then you gotta think about cars and shit. They have cars, like, pretty standard now, that got cameras and shit all over them with a screen on your little dashboard that just shows you all the things around you. Bruh, like, remember when you had to learn how to parallel park? Or just park in general? Or do that thing where you, like, Go over the shoulder to back up, and you're like, is it safe? Is it safe? Yeah, it's safe. <laughs> That's a thing of the fucking past. Because all your cars have cameras on them and shit, with little TV screens. And you can play DVDs. And probably video games. Who the fuck knows? If that's not the future, I don't know what is. We got video games that you put on your head and you just hold a couple wands and move around and you exist in the video game world and it's so good and well executed that motherfuckers will fall down or have panic attacks at the realism and the depth of the field of vision in these virtual reality games. You know, like, that's the future of video games. 
it's the future of all kinds of stuff. And I mean, this is just the shit that I can think of off the top of my head. If I would have, like, sat down and made a fucking list of shit, it would be way more concise. But I mean, like, I don't need to because there's tons of fucking examples. I make beats. I love to make beats. I have beat making software on my cell phone that's just as good as the software on my laptop. That's the future. You can't deny that shit. People are putting bacon on cupcakes. That's the future. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. However, if you eat bacon on cupcakes, you're fucking gross. That's not the point, though. The point is, we live in the future. It's amazing. Motherfuckers still complain about how shitty things they have are. Oh, my phone fucking sucks. Your phone is a microcomputer that has video games and every TV show that you like on it. Quit bitching. Uh, fucking... I hate this video game company because they did a thing I didn't like. Who gives a shit? There's more video games now than have ever existed. Uh, these movies suck. Shut up. At least they're making movies. And now you can see movies in 3D in a chair that moves that makes you feel like you're in the fucking movie on a screen bigger than most motherfuckers have planetariums and shit. Stop bitching. The only excuse you have to bitch is the same excuse I have. We obviously live in the future. But where? It's my motherfucking hoverboard. Think about that. You think long and hard about that. Hmm. This has been Cap CTV. And when you figure out where my hoverboard's at, you better fucking find me. I think. Am I recording? I got a big bright light in my eye, but I don't know why there's a light on. I didn't turn the light on. Yeah, it says it's recording, but I don't know why the fuck the light's on. Maybe it's because it's dark. I don't know. Yep, we're at DJ's mansion again. You like your mansion there, DJ? No. There's a childlike substance on the floor. Hi, childlike substance. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Is that your child beast down there on the floor, DJ? Yep. That's my little demon. <laughs> I demon child making a movie of you and daddy. Say, look, that thing over there with the red hair and, and the, the tiny little blobbish gut. <laughs> We're looking at DJ. What is that? Are you looking at Magic the Gathering cards? Is that what it's doing? Okay, Magic the Gathering. Exciting. Dun dun dun. Ugh. Made a movie over here in a while. Ugh. Dun dun dun. See what TJ's looking at. Oh, that's what he's looking at. Magic the Gathering stuff. Let's see if there's anything inside of his head. Nope. There's a little tiny sign that says Space for Ant in there. Hey. It says 3.5 cubic acres. Liar. <laughs> Where are your magic cards, anyways? You got them put up? Yep. When's the last time you actually played a hand? Another night. I got my uh, decks right here in front of me all back. Oh, your main play decks? Mm hmm. Yeehaw. Chocolate blasted shreds. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm doing another little video thing for the Weirdo Show for next month, which is coming up soon. Hi, hi. Kind of exciting things we have here in DJ's ghetto-like freezer. We got <laughs> alcohol, meat, and shit, and what the fucking hell is this? Essential, oh, baking soda. TV dinner-like stuff. Wait a minute, look out. And tons of stuff in here, I tell you. <laughs> DJ, your refrigerator's looking a little bare there, dude. <laughs> yep. Homie, homie, homie. I got a bag of fucking halos like I got at the house. Cool. We were just discussing that earlier. I got mine from Aldi's. I don't remember if they have Aldi's up in um, Canada or not. I know they do up, up you know, up part of North America here, but... Uh, I know they got co-op in Canada. I remember going there when I was living in Canada. No. What does she want? Your phone. No, you can't have my phone. 
That ain't happening. Drink. Let me take a sip. Mm. My battery's probably going dead because of the damn headlight on this thing, which I never turned on. Ceiling fan. It's exciting. See what's going on outside real quick. It's bright out here. DJ's uh, Mercedes. <laughs> dun dun dun. DJ! Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye! Alright, Jar, find anything you like? What are we gonna try it on now? Show me these uh, shit kicker hats. What you got? Oh, you look normal, I'll tell you. You should go to work with that on in the morning. <laughs> Put on the shit kicker hat again. I got a picture of you in the shit kicker hat. There you go. It's Deputy Dog. Yeehaw. Stop blinking. Huh? <laughs> Stop blinking. I'm sure it will eventually. It is blinking like crazy. Probably end up with a dead battery in no time. No, you can't keep the hat there. Where's your hat, by the way? Oh, there it is. There. There's a real cowboy hat. There you go. Now you can have goddamn... Sparkles all over your damn hands. Don't be touching me with that crap. I'm serious. Don't fucking touch me with that. Seriously. I hate that damn shit. It gets all over my face. What got glitter? That's what it's called? Yeah, glitter. I hate glitter. 
Hey, let's buy some American flags. Let's see where these American flags are made. Probably China. Oh, this one's actually made in America. Holy shit. Taylor called Ripley's. Here you go, JR. Put this on. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Put that on. You take off your glasses and hat, though, to do it. Trying to save battery life here. This ought to be funny as shit, though. I wouldn't try to put the glasses on with it, though. It's fucking funny. Bring up the tag. Here we go. Let me see. That's funny as hell. He is literally your uh, Captain America now. What do you think? Yeah. That's definitely not something to wear to work, though. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm sure your boss would appreciate it. He'd be like, what up, G? Can't believe I actually have American flags made in America now instead of made in China. These are actually all made in America. It's amazing. I figure everything else in Walmart's made in China. You just call it the China, the, the Wall of China is instead of Walmart. You want a princess tiara? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have enough real ones, thank you. The fuck is this thing? What the hell is that? I was looking at a weird banner. Yeah, it opens, it's a pain. It opens Whatever the 97 cent thing is, it's a big seller because it's all gone. <laughs> Didn't have a Make America Great Again? Oh, shit. No, this is you right here. It's got you all over it. I think. <laughs> Murica. It actually says Murica, too. That's hilarious. Who's going to the shop with these, huh? Freak the customers out. Be like, might buy more guns off of me. That'd be great. <laughs> Should wear that to the shop or what? I think. <laughs> You're retarded. Uh, how about a big bow tie for work? Nah. They don't have a lot of America stuff in here, do they? So just one little like aisle. Yep. You look normal. That's you. There you go. Aren't you sexy? <laughs> Sexier than a bucket of cat barf. <laughs> Alright, another day at Walmart. Picking up shit for the... This is my possum, so it's something to beat the crap out of. I got some footage. And cat food and cat litter and ramen noodles, because I like to make different things out of ramen noodles, because you're good as fuck. This week only, I think it would get twelve hundred for two dollars, something like that. It's going to be cheap every once in a while. I have to go back to my roots, and I don't actually have money. I don't have to worry about eating crap like that, but I do it anyway because I like it. Oh, this is going to be fun. Welcome back to the more you motherfucking know here on the Weirdo Show, right here from OCDC. That's the Ottawa fucking jail on Ennis. I am in jail. Yes, that is right. I am in motherfucking jail. So fucking judge dismissed the fresh evidence. That would have fucking, like, set me the fuck free because, you know, my ex was lying. Her, she told her fucking friend that, and I should have been fucking sent free, right? But shit doesn't work out sometimes. So, anyways, after the judge dismissed that shit, she immediately sentenced me on fucking federal time. Three years, three months. So 1,187 fucking days. So I got, like, 15 down plus whatever time served, if that even counts. But... No worries, just way down bail and appeal. Got a new lawyer, a, a, a new motherfucking lawyer, and she seems to be down to business, so no bullshit. Um, the issues by the fucking lawyer, like fucking, the judge made error in assessing the evidence of a uh, young trial complainant, which was my son, which is like, my son's like, oh, my dad never jumped on me or nothing, like fucking retard. Uh, the accused presented a cogent explanation that explained the reasons the judge used to convict. In other words, you know, everything was explained, and she's all like, oh, well, we don't believe anything. Fucker. Uh, judge made error, in fact, and law in not considering uh, discrepancies and testimonies of crown witnesses. She's like, you know, I believe Tawny, your ex, and her friend, uh, even though there's, like, a bunch of discrepancies, like, fucking differences and bull bullshit and holes in their stories, it's like, what the fuck is that? So basically, because I have fucking tattoos on a penis, not tattoos on my penis, that's why I got fucking put into the slam. Uh, the judge erroneous, er, the judge erroneous, the judge erroneously made the finding that defense witnesses were biased and tainted. Uh, no, they stood up for the right fucking goddamn thing, you know what I mean? So she just tried to get rid of all my fucking evidence just to bring me in the, in the slam because, again, I'm a dude, 
and that was a sexist kind of a judge. Well, hey, well, hey, hey, uh, the sentence is excessive and disproportionate given lack of prior criminal record. And the judge had an issue with the range of sentence that the Crown was seeking, which is the same, but ultimately came within that range without giving any explanation. I think it's because I pissed her off trying to introduce new evidence. Fucking cunt. Fucking cunt? That's what you get from a fucking female judge. So I should be out soon. I will fight this to the motherfucking end, man. Injustice will not go unforgiven. Uh, if I don't get out, I'll still do the show this way somehow. I don't know. But fucking we'll see how it goes. And don't worry about me. I got my fiance on the outside taking care of everything for me. I love you, Melissa. I'm fucking great to the end. Thank you. And I got homies and I got my fam. And, right? 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 And this year, jail gang, uh, this year, the jail gang rapes went down from 115% to 102% of the time. Uh, we get to play games like hide the pickle, but it ain't no pickle, wink, wink. Uh, sometimes we do theater performances like, you know, happy family, but we all end up sucking mommy's cock. It kind of sucks. I drink tea a lot. Just to wash that shit down. Uh, plan the beat to cook on the head with the news fucking paper as soon as I, like, fucking be able to fucking shimmy the fuck out of here and get into that fucking, to the fucking kitchen. I'm gonna fucking lock him over the nose and be like, no, no. I'm gonna point at the fucking, the only fucking spices he knows how to use. And I'm gonna be like, no, use other spices, motherfucker. And then I'll be like, fucking sneak back into my cell like a motherfucking ninja. Yeah. And, uh, just one rule, uh, soulmates never just wanna cuddle. Struggle cuddles. So many cigarettes in the dreams here from all the fucking guards smoking, but I cannot smoke. And I'm like, oh my fucking God, just give me a cigarette, please. And showering is never a lonely job around here. All the help you can handle, whether you want it or not. Yeah. But anyways, when I sit the poop and someone looks over, it's fucking hilarious because it gets really awkward, right? Like you catch your eye contact and you're taking a shit and they're looking at you. So I make like that little fucking, um, I, I, I throw up a fucking, you know, a peace sign and do the duck lips, like a little fucking club horror selfie fucking picture. So anyways, the next time, on the more you motherfucking know, I'm going to tell you exactly how prison has helped me turn from man into a manhole. It's my transformation. I'm just kidding. I am no one's glory hole. I have never had 10,000 men use me as a cum dumpster. <laughs> that was my ex. Blah. The cum gutter, the cum gutter, the cum gurgling gutter slut that fucking falsely accused me and put me here because I publicly called her out for fucking being a whore for fucking fucking my buddy of 23 fucking years behind my mother fucking back for the last four months of her relationship fucking cunt hope she's fucking died but anyways oh fuck man she needs to be thrown into the fucking federal pen where all the fucking male rapists and fucking sadistic rapists and fucking give her the same fucking punishment they're gonna give me the same amount of years so anyways that's my big hurrah. So the next time I'm going to fucking know, your boy asked off. Hopefully not somebody's fucking pin cushion. All right? Peace. Love you. Bye. Boop, boop. I'm a weirdo, don't fit into society I'm a weirdo, I'm a weirdo